Time for a spring tour of the garden. So we'll start in this in-ground bed that I've created over here. Last year I had one calendula plant grow here and it self-seeded a ton. I also seeded some extra ones, but there's so, so many seeds that have germinated in this area, which I'm really excited about. I also have a lot of yarrow that has come back and it's coming up quite early, which is nice. Like this is looking really good and bushy for where we're at in the spring. And some of my fireweed from last year also came back. So I transplanted two plants into here and I now have at least three that are gonna be growing, which is really exciting. We'll see if any more pop up because it spreads through the roots. And then I have some plantain and some comfrey. This comfrey, I didn't know if it would actually survive when I brought it over here because it was looking so poor last year when I transplanted it in, but clearly it is managing and comfrey is very resilient so i'm also not too surprised right now the rosemary is fully in bloom and the bees are absolutely loving it and then up over here i have a new system this year compared to last spring and i have started some seeds in pots oh looks like i'm having the same issue as last year with something rummaging about in the soil creating little holes but i decided to start some seeds in pots because last year in that bed over there i really struggled with a lot of slugs it hasn't been as bad this year we've had a less wet spring which i think has helped with the slugs and so i haven't really noticed slug damage the same way so i just am running some different experiments the different soils that i have some of my plants have like really dried out already or just lacking some nutrients so some of them are kind of like slowly slowly coming up i'm trying to remind myself to be patient because some things like lavender and skullcap they're perennials versus calendula and bachelor button which are annuals so the annuals are going to come up a lot faster so i try to remind myself to be patient um same over here it's really interesting like some snap peas have already planted out and i have a ton growing over there but then the blue kidney beans are just coming up the pole beans are just coming up the turtle beans are kind of in between so it's always very interesting seeing what's coming up i also have some new flower seeds that i've never grown before that i'm growing this year the basil and the lemon balm are just starting to come up i also had basil here last year and you can see the basil is now starting to pop up as well and then here's all these peas i saved all these peas um I think the year before last and so i just planted a whole bunch and it's going really well i'm trying a new trellising system here and i just put this string out yesterday and look we have a pea that's attached very exciting there's one over there that's attached as well so hopefully this is low enough for most of them and that they all kind of reach up to this right now i'm very thankful that one of my kales survived the winter because this is one of the few things that i have flowering in my garden right now and um, so i'm just leaving this here i'm gonna let it flower i'm gonna let it go to seed save the seeds and even though i'm not eating from this kale plant anymore because it's a little more bitter now that it's gone to flower it's still so important for my garden because i want the pollinators to know to come check out my garden now while the rest of the things are still working on their blooms um, over here we have the peppermint the peppermint expanded a ton in one year last year I did a really heavy cut back and it's looking like it's not loving how much I cut back there so we'll see how that goes um, but I just wanted to cut it back so that it would produce a bunch of new growth that makes it bushier I also did that with the oregano over there and I think I did a bit better job not going as aggressively on that one we had a lot of the strawberries in this bed over here die compared to this bed which is full of strawberries um, but we do still have some coming up i also have some little seeds like i think i have straw flower and even calendula little seeds coming up over there that i had just kind of tossed in i also have some little radishes coming up here i mulched this bed um, with a number of different things i would just put leaves and clippings and some of the leaf bags i had had a bunch of acorns in them but i've just been putting a ton of stuff on here and the soil has really transformed from the very very first time that i saw the soil it was like very dusty and sandy but because of how dry the summers can get through in victoria here i've been trying to keep it as protected as i can and i think i've really noticed that the soil is improving over time 
We also have the dill springing up over here. So I just like rubbed the dill seed heads together last year and let it all fall down. And so they're all coming back. And then this mint is doing really well. At one point last year, it was quite diseased. And so it's interesting that the plant, I planted itself, well I had two here. They aren't as strong as some of these runners are. Like look at how far that one got. That seems really crazy to me. I know mint is a spreader, but that in one season, that's <laughs> pretty insane. Um, and then we have a bunch of chives. I've been trying to pluck the flowers off this one and let this one go to flower and then this one not. But I have so many chives in my freezer right now that I didn't even eat from last year. So I'm not being too picky about my harvesting on this one. And then our sage and oregano is doing really well. I've already harvested some of both of these. Um, I'm doing a bit of an experiment trying to propagate a few different clippings from different like fruiting trees so we'll see how that goes. Then my valerian that is a root harvest crop so I'll see how that goes in the fall when I harvest it. Then over here we have a new plant from last year this is lemon thyme that I transplanted from the farm that I work at. Oh I didn't do a very good job breaking this up because I really should have like made this a lot finer but this is actually coal from a campfire that i had earlier this spring and so i've put it in the garden because little microbes like to live inside of here the same way that like bees and bugs and that need holes kind of more about this size to live in having some little homes for the microbes is important in your soil too and then here's some little flowers that i've planted out Something does like to dig around in here. I really don't know exactly what it is, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and then some other little flowers that I've just kind of popped in here just to kind of see how things go. I don't know why that's happening. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Something's just coming in and ripping them out. And then the strawberries are doing really well. Those are looking quite good. I forgot to mention now I have green onion in addition to the chive. Then the blueberry plants are here. They are all um, blooming and they, I can't tell if they're starting to bud up. No, these guys are just having some flowers coming up. And then our flax. Oh my gosh, something like really went through here. <sighs> this happens every year, but gotta have an abundance for you and the animals apparently. <laughs> I guess I didn't learn my lesson well enough last season. But this is how things are going. I feel really pleased with the perennials that have done really well and stayed over um, from last year. And then a number of annual things that I'm starting, I feel excited about. I might even start a few more things, but this looks pretty good, especially this bed. It's nice and full. This one still has a lot of space to work with. So I'm gonna see how these things grow. Um, but then later in the season, I might start adding a few more things, like a few more veggies. At some point, I want to add potatoes. So we'll see what we can find room for. But this is the spring update of spring 2024 in this backyard garden.